Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Mysteries and Oddities video. Well, I have a nice treat here for everyone that's a fan of my continued randonauting travels. So, I've already dedicated a couple of videos to that in the past as far as randonautica and then also randonauting. And so in this case, some of you have suggested continuing the series and doing it as a separate playlist. And I am having a lot of fun still with these particular travels, so I decided to go ahead and do just that i'll i've created another playlist and then i'll just stick these videos in there exclusively and then that way you and i together get to see just how amazing these results are and then i must say with this new trip that i did the results are absolutely phenomenal again the universe is somehow watching us and whenever you're thinking something really really hard within the randonautica then yes indeed it'll come up with the results that you want and in this case just like i had it with my other particular adventure here the results weren't instantaneous like it was almost like i thought to myself this is it like i actually found a false positive like there was no clear results but then when i took a different avenue that's when i saw just how things how great things were more on that here in a minute but first let's go ahead and let's talk about my latest randonautica travels my randonautics results and then that way you and i will be both blown over when it comes to what i'm about to share so yes indeed i decided to go ahead and do that particular thing on the website at the randonautica website where once again i thought really really hard when it came to a particular point and then when that happened the system there gave me a plot point and then I put it on my Google Maps and then I was surprised actually how close it was to where I live when I was looking at the information on it I just realized oh my goodness once again is creating something that is actually nearby and so I was going to check it out but the initial problem was this as you're looking on the overhead shot here it pointed to one specific point there off of a frontage road and those of you that know the area let's say that I'm at this is a dangerous point though because that frontage road is constantly filled with cars just whizzing by and they pretty much do not like to stop for anyone and they're is no spot for me to let's say park my car conveniently right on the side of the furnace road without putting myself into danger it's not like like they say so there's some parking spots just perfectly there for me to be able to do so nope in this case i would have had to have done a close call i would have had to have parked right next to the frontage road there on the dirt road all these cars whizzing by and then hoping that something wouldn't happen to me i'm not going to take that risk this is a bad area to be in because of those cars that are constantly going about not only that but it almost seems like these travelers that are there they're there essentially trying to get home or they're trying to go somewhere and then when that happens like they're just trying to go as fast as can be so it was a little disappointing when i saw the exact location because i thought to myself no this is not going to be something where it's going to turn out like in this case it's going to be a bust and so i thought to myself maybe finally i found the bad results associated with random nodding and but then i realized there was another avenue and there was this some people had posted on reddit on some of their results that if they can't go to an area that they can discover on their own because of certain reasons maybe it's off limits maybe there's a wall there maybe there's something else dangerous as just preventing things like in my case then they actually go online like they go online and put in street view and then when that happens they try to see exactly what those results would have been had they been there i count those as results too because it's truly an image associated with that exact spot like if you would have been there in person that's as close as possible as to what you would have seen and so i tried that out i actually went to bing in this case because i love getting those points whenever you do those searches there on being and when i put in the plot points i was blown away here's why from the outside like at the first shot you see here it looks like it's nothing right it's just grass and then there's some shrubs and there's some trees there right but look at the middle that's what first didn't catch my attention but it did afterward i decided you know all of a sudden you know that thing stands out let me go ahead and i'll just zoom in and then as you'll see in this next picture here there it is zoomed in and then that's when again 
I was just breathless at what just happened because I'll reveal what my plot point was when it came to the randonauting series. There, it, I was thinking heavily, very, very hard because again, you have to do it exactly like that, otherwise it won't work. I was thinking of one word and that was Godzilla. Obviously, I'm a big fan of anything related to Godzilla. Those of you that have known my YouTube channel for years know that I've talked about for so long Godzilla movie news and other Godzilla-related stuff. And so I wanted the universe to see if they was truly following me, like if it could truly give me an exact plot point having to do with Godzilla. And then as I continued to zoom in, that's when I realized, oh my goodness, that particular shrub that's right there is shaped exactly like Godzilla. And the pointing, like in other words, the uh, dots that would have led me as if I would have walked using Google Maps, those uh, travel to dots, the ones that you can use whenever, let's say, you're doing a particular plot point there on Google Maps and then it, you put in go to and then you see those little dots leading you somewhere. Those dots would have led exactly to that shrub. I mean, that's how scary it was because when I zoomed in even further, then I couldn't help but not see Godzilla right there. I didn't see him at first because, again, seeing it from afar it didn't really stand out. But then when I looked again closer, then that's when I saw him there. That little shrub looks like an image of Godzilla, and that is exactly the same thing that I was doing when it came to the uh, randonauting, when I was thinking really, really hard. I was only thinking of one word, and that was Godzilla. If you want to get a better example, look at this. Here's a side-by-side -side showcasing both of them, and you can see how close that, that shrub is. I mean, what are the odds? What are the odds that a shrub like this happens to look exactly like Godzilla? It could have looked like anything else, you know? It could have looked like uh, the Kool-Aid Man, or it could have looked like, um, like uh, I don't know, what's another big one that stands out like the Ghostbusters one um, what's another one that stands out any of the big series like the Transformers it could have looked like that Rodan it could have looked like anything else like that but no it happened to look exactly just like Godzilla right down to the almost triangle shape there's his head on top there's his chest which is a little bit larger and then there's of course the infamous fat legs as it was uh, criticized within the Godzilla 2014 film but there are those legs making up the majority of the body just like his body would have and so I was stunned when I saw this information because again it just goes to show and it points to how crazy random awning and how exact it is once again I went again I went to that plot point initially to visit it too dangerous to do so and so when I decided to go the other avenue in terms of clicking on images and looking on street view bam that's when I saw this exact image and it proved to me how scary this random nodding is that's two for two when it comes to thinking of an exact thing associated with someone or in this case something and it leading to picture perfect results I mean it's just scary again that thing could have looked like anything else anything else recognizable but no it looks exactly like Godzilla would have I mean what are the odds that a shrub would ever Ever be shaped like that and it happens to be at the same exact plot point the same exact coordinates that once again that Bing and Google Maps would have led me to I'm just floored when it comes to this random nodding stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try it again let's see if a third time occurs but I want to know where your thoughts are associated with this is this two for two when it comes to the random nodding series or do you think I'm kind of stretching things when it comes to this? Normally, I would have thought this is not this, you know, this is if I, if it would have been anything else, then I would have thought to myself, this is a poor example. But no, having this shrub here based on those images look exactly like that. And I forgot to mention this. The uh, street image went 
to that to that particular shrub immediately like I didn't even have to move the arrows to the left or right to find that exact shrub no whenever I put in the coordinates it went exactly to that point and then that's how scary things were so is it two for two let me know post it in the comments those of you that are fans associated with random nodding I'm interested to hear what your results are some of you out there are trying it and if you want to post what your results are there below then please do so I'm sure that there are others that would love to have that happen and also let me know do you want me to continue Continue this series too because based on the views it looks like it is getting a good number of views but as always I want to gauge and see what people are thinking otherwise but that's at least what my latest results are and I was really really excited to share it with everyone so I didn't get to necessarily see it in person I did drive by it, but I did, but in this case, the uh, street view was more than enough. So, all right, everybody, thanks again as always. Take care.